All available experts, please report to room A9. Okay, like to here today I should be going over the module Even or Odd. This is a time-based module, where when we press this screen, we'll be shown a number, and we just have to say whether or not, for the first stage, we press the correct button, so if we were given a 9, we would press Odd. However, there are a few catches. On each, first one, on each subsequent stage, you have to add the previous number, every other previous number, onto the current number. And that sum is what you're going to be saying whether or not it's even or odd. Second of all, sometimes the number, this number will show either green or red. Green meaning follow what you would expect. Red means do the opposite. So if you're given a red 5 as your starting one, you would press even, even though 5 is odd. Since it's red, we have to flip what we normally do. And again, of course, the sum still applies here as well. A, a way that, that someone told me to do it was you can point at the buttons to help you remember what you're currently on, and then use odd number as switching the button and even numbers as staying where you are. Because if you realise, you don't actually need to know the sum to do this, you just need to know when to flip the parity. And that is basically, if it's an odd number, you flip what you're you're currently doing. So, because as you can see here, if we had a four, and then we got given a seven. Well, seven plus four is eleven. Taken modulo ten is one. And remember, this started as a four, so it flips parity on odd. But if we took four plus four instead, we would get eight. As we see here. The number didn't flip the parity that time, so on its flip, even is Emergency stay the same. Cleared. All personnel, please return to your stations. You get 30 seconds per... The time is 30 seconds, and count down. You get 30 seconds for everything. But we had to perform the previous steps about 8 to 12 times. This number will vary between them. So anyway, again... I won't be really able to talk about watching this because I'm going to be concentrating a bit. But I'll, I'll explain after I've done this first one. There we go. So the logic there for some of those was we had odd numbers in a row, so that's why I kept on flipping back and forwards. And then when they were red, they were all even, so I just... And because it was odd at the time, I just had to press even. And that's basically all there is. This will take a bit of practice to do, because I know that I had a point where I was, like, just messing it up every single time. But if you, as you do it more often, you you won't mess up the logic and Think odd, press even, or think even, press odd. Or just get stuck in the brain part. So let me do one more example. Okay, even. Stays even, so odd. Becomes odd, so even. Becomes even, so even. Becomes odd, so even. Becomes even, so even. Becomes odd, so odd. Stays odd. Becomes even. Stays even. Becomes odd. Becomes even. There we go. The main thing that, that might screw you over a little bit is the whole flipping back and forwards, and then in your mind also flipping back again if it's a red. Side note the colours only apply for that stage. So. So if you had a red 5, then a green 6. The red from the previous stage doesn't apply to this next one. So the colours are independent of any flipping sort of thing. The colours are independent for that stage. But anyway, hopefully you understand a method of doing even or odd, which is basically seeing even as stay, odd as flip, and then just remembering that red is do the opposite, and green is do as intended. 
And of course, you, you can point it with your finger to help you track where you are. But hopefully, you understand how even or odd works. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.